get my transition flashing. In today's video, we are going over some basic level Z bar installation. What Z bar is, is a way to connect flashings to standing seam metal roofing panels. I'm just going to be going over some basic level techniques, basically just some notching and just some good practices to take while installing Z bar on standing seam metal roof. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the video. You'll notice that I am notching, testing, notching, dry fitting, kind of, it seems monotonous, but I'm only really going to do this for the first piece and the rest of them, I'll use this as a template to trace on to, to speed things up and to ensure consistency. I'm going to cut it shy. I'm not going to water test that area. So I'm not gonna Keep in mind, this flashing detail should only be used in an area of the roof where you have sufficient drainage. For example, a steep enough slope to carry the water across this detail. You can see I'm using sealant here, and I don't really like to rely on sealant to do the work of the roof, but I know this detail is extremely popular, so just remember if you're doing this detail, ensure that you have a minimum slope of 312. Some cases okay, I wouldn't I'll even go less than 412. Screws inside the on, on the opposite side of the caulking bead. Right? If it's in front of the caulking bead, water could get in there. Yeah. I'm in line, both sides. It's a nice miter in there. Well, one little tip just to share it. with you guys. The Z bar should actually sit taller than the actual seam itself. It'll make things a lot easier to hook onto when you're ready to install the flashing. You'll notice I haven't notched the whole end of this off. I've left on a little piece on the corner. And what that does is allows us to overlap onto the previous Z bar that we installed. So remember that template I was talking about earlier on in the video? Now is actually the best time to dial that in because we have a seam on both sides and we can dial in the miter for a full panel. I like this overlap because it's a nice continuous hook edge for whatever flashing you decide to hook to it. Plus, it seals a lot better around that seam when you go to seal in all of your Z closures. Just a little tip when screwing in these Z-closures that you stay behind the sealant line. If you're in front of it, water could get in.
I want to really put the emphasis on that this is not a watertight detail. I know we're using sealants, but over time sealants can fail. We're using a, a, a high grade sealant here and a lot of guys use butyl. They all tend to fail and you know if it was my house I wouldn't like to have a roof really just reliant on uh, liquefied sealant that you know as well as everyone knows you know has the potential to dry out and potentially cause problems down the line these roofs are meant to last a lifetime lifetime metal roofing should really have lifetime metal roofing techniques built into them we go over that in this playlist right here and I suggest that you check it out and see maybe a possibility you haven't really considered yet with sheet metal or just to see how it is even possible to do this with sheet metal.